Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'll teach you how to use HTTP context in ASP.NET Core. Before beginning the video, I'll give you some brief information about HTTP context class. This particular class was readily available in previous versions of ASP.NET, but from ASP.NET Core onwards, we have to do some configuration in order to access it. This particular class has various usages such as accessing sessions, cache, and also the request and response collections. Before moving ahead, I would like to inform you that an article has already been posted on this topic. The link for the article and the code sample link are available in the description. Also, if you need any further help, please feel free to ask on forums. The link for the forum is also available in the description. Finally, I would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. So let's start. Let's move to the solution explorer where I'll be opening the startup.cs class. Now here we have to call the add HTTP context accessor method of the services object inside the configure services method. That's it in the startup.cs class. Now let's move to the controller. Now inside the controller, we'll start by adding a namespace. Microsoft.ASP.NETCORE.HTTP This particular namespace will be used to access the IHTTP context accessor interface. Now I am creating a private property of the IHTTP context accessor interface. The next step is to make use of dependency injection and inject the interface object inside the controller class. For that purpose, I am creating a constructor of the home controller class and I am injecting the IHTTP context accessor object into it. Now inside the controller, the private property is set with the injected IHTTP context accessor object. Now the HTTP context class is readily available through the private property we had created earlier. And now inside the action method, I am accessing the HTTP context object through the accessor. As you can see, I have set the breakpoint so that we can check the values at runtime. Now we'll run the project to see whether we are able to access the child properties of the HTTP context class. So let's run the project. The breakpoint has been hit and you can see the various properties of the HTTP context class are available inside the HTTP context object. So with this, we come to the end of this video. Today, we learned how to use and access HTTP context class in HP.NET Core. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon. Goodbye.